Hi, everyone. Jonathan Silva here. I want to talk about the PL900 certification from Microsoft. And really, is it worth getting for you as you try to work with the Power Platform and all the other applications that come with it? Now, for me, the PL900 exam and certification that you'll get from passing that exam is absolutely worth it if you are someone that wants to work in the Power Platform. Because what this PL900 exam provides us is an overview certification of all of the fundamentals and the bits and pieces of the basic information you'll need to know about all of the five applications within the Power Platform, Dataverse, Connectors, and AI Builder. So what I want to do is share with you some information I found about why you should go ahead and get that certification if the Power Platform is a place where you want to be. All right, so first things first, here we are at the Microsoft Learn page for the PL900 exam and the certification that comes with it. What you can see here is what was really being asked of you for to go ahead and pass this exam is to be able to really know all about the fundamental understandings that comes with the Power Platform. So what does that mean? Well, you need to know basics about what the Power Platform is, what the different components are and how those components are used together. So what you'll be tested on and the measurables that you have here are on the foundational pieces of Dataverse and understanding environments and solutions and security and all the logic within Dataverse as your Azure SQL database supporting the Power Platform. You'll need to know how the different applications are working with the complementary Microsoft solutions as well. So how does the Power Platform fit in with Azure, within Dynamics 365, within Microsoft Teams and SharePoint and all the other connectors that come with it? Well, you'll also be required to, to know here and the skills that are measured are the individual standalone applications. So we're talking about Power Apps and Power BI and Power Automate specifically. We'll also be referencing Copilot Studio, formerly known as Power Virtual Agent, and Power Pages. So you need to have an overall foundational understanding of all of the parts of the whole. Now, for you to be able to get to this certification and this career, you could see here if you come to um, the PL900 page there, there are some skills here. There are some things that are helpful. There's a learning path available. You can come in here and take the practice exam. There is a study guide here as well that you can go to um, to see all the contents on the exam. And that that's great but it can be really difficult to work with. So what I fully recommend is heading on over to our page at Pragmatic Works Training and taking a work at our on-demand learning profile. Because what I did was put together a course to review all of the foundational concepts. In my PL900 course here, you can see our Power Platform Fundamentals Review, what I've gone through is all of the different sections here that are laid out within the Microsoft Study Guide and everything that you'll have here, and I put together a comprehensive review course for you. This course will allow you to go ahead and review all of the individual components that are being assessed on that exam. So this is a great way for you as a, a practice tool, a study guide before you go ahead and take that exam. You can see here I have all the different parts of the whole laid out foundational components of all the connectors. We have Dataverse, we have administrative at section here. We have Power Apps, Canvas Apps, and Model Driven Apps. We have Power Automate, Cloud and Desktop Flows, Copilot Studio, Power Pages, AI Builder, all of these different pieces that go together for your exam. And last thing in this case, or with our wrap up, how to go ahead and practice for that exam using Cert XP. Cert XP is our latest addition to what we provide here at Pragmatic Works. And this is your place for exam prep. All of the exams that we have here, you can go ahead and practice with real life questions that we developed here at Pragmatic Works to assist you to prepare for this exam. We've put together this for you so that you can come here and truly get that in 
person exam experience, but practice as many times as you may need. Go through all the questions to make sure you're truly ready for the exam come that day that you choose to take it. So let's take a look at what that might look like. So here you have the Power Platform Fundamentals. This is our overview area. If I wanted to go in, you could see I've done a little bit of practice here as I've put together this for us. I can go ahead and say, all right, here's my next step. And you can see here that we have the ability to autoplay with our narrator. You have your question narrated to you. You can come and have, we have some subtitles in here as well. You can see the different um, settings and you can change the speed. You can replay. You can do a lot of stuff in here. And then let's try this first question together. Which Microsoft Power Platform component is designed for automating processes, including tasks in Office 365, Outlook, Excel, and SharePoint? Now, I know that that's Power Automate, but let's say I chose the wrong answer by mistake. I chose Power Apps and chose to submit this. You could see here that you'd be like, oh, wait, you got that wrong. And this is why Power Automate is the correct answer. And we have a little bit of informational guide for you, some explanation here for you on why that that is the correct answer that you just forgot to choose. So if I come through and look at the next one here, Let's say a healthcare company wants to use a model-driven app that help the back office enter insurance claims in past visits. You need to recommend solutions for the company. You need to ensure that the team follows the same process for all customers. What should you recommend? If we're looking for everyone following the same process, I think that's a business process flow. Let me go ahead and submit that answer. And boom. Great job, that was the correct answer. Here is our explanation of why. And what you have here with Cert XP is the ability to track all of your questions, the ones you got correct, the ones you got incorrect. And as you go through, let's say, I'm just gonna quickly pick one here. Um, let's see, send support tickets. I'm just gonna choose one and go pretty quickly. I'm just gonna go fast in this case. I'm not even gonna read the questions. Let's say I just want to uh, put something in here. I'm just gonna choose random ones. Let's say I'll choose another one. I'm just gonna go ahead and answer all these. Oh my goodness, they're all, I'm getting some right, most of them wrong, because I'm not even reading. Let's say I wanna keep going, keep going here. Let's say send these emails, there's another one, right? This is our first level, so you'll see we have this broken down by different levels. And as I go through, you'll notice we do have some other videos here as well. There's Brian giving us an explanation of why Power Pages is the correct answer in this case, rather than anything else. So not only will you get the answers, you'll get to know, did I get them right? Did I get them wrong? What is the correct answer? You get a bit of personalization in here as well to see why that answer is correct or incorrect. So we're adding more to this every single day to give you as the user the best study guide to go ahead and prepare yourself for this exam. Let me just keep going pretty fast here. Get through all of them. I'm just picking random ones. There's Brian again. There we go through. Let's see if I can get through all of these. As I get more wrong, it's gonna to continue to ask me more and more questions so I can pass a certain level of competency before I go ahead and review everything from there. So you'll notice if I can't get certain questions, it's gonna send me back. Hey, 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 you need to go back. We have our redemption questions here. You need to go back in there and make sure that you can get that information. Let me see if I can come in here and just answer. There we go. A redemption question. Let's go do another redemption question here. Uh, you need to determine which Power Platform application creates the required analytics reports. Of course, that's going to be Power BI. And let's see. Uh, I want to enable external users to create a new service request. We're going to use a, a Power page for external users, which is designed for automating a process. Power Automate. Let's see. Let's see another redemption question for all the ones I'm getting wrong here. Uh, let's see, allow customers to use a website to spend support tickets. There we go. And there we go. I've gotten past that stage there. Oh, that's my score, 40%. Not great. So I probably want to go back and review the questions. Well, here we have our review. You can see all the questions I got correct or incorrect. And I've done them a few times. The ones and why I got them correct. We can even come here and you'll see that as you go through the explanation, you'll be able to see what exactly we need to prepare for in the future. So if I want to go to the next session, I just go here. Otherwise, I can go back to my map and review. You know what? I may have gone through this, but I definitely need to review this and do this one over. And you can see the type of question here. And the best part is what we try to do is connect that 
to our modules in our review course. So if you need to go back and review those questions so that you are ready to go later on. Now, you might be saying, okay, that's great, that sounds awesome, but why would I get this certification? Well, look at all these jobs that are out there working with the Power Platform. I'm just here looking at remote jobs on Power Platform around the United States, and you can see here there are quite a few jobs, Power BI Consultant, SharePoint Admin, or Power Platform Analyst. You can see here there's many, many different Power Platform career opportunities out there, and the PL900 is perfect for you to go ahead and get the skills necessary to be at the base level to again jump into the more specific courses afterwards. So definitely take a look at the PL900 course and our Cert XP for all of your study guide habits and tools as we start to take a look at how we really want to be able to level up here specifically within the Power Platform. If you want to learn more, visit prag.works slash Jonathan40 to get 40% off an annual on-demand learning subscription and have access to over 100 different classes.